we want to take some time to kind of get situated with what exactly is the product rule for exponents and how do we use that. So one thing that I think that will make it much easier is if you consider when your product means that you're multiplying something together. So you have an x a lot of times when you think about multiplication. Now if I take that x and I rotate it or I kind of turn it on its side, you notice it becomes a plus sign. So what happens when you're using the product rule and you're multiplying with exponents, as long as your base, which is the number, the big number, that's your base, if those are the same, you can just add your exponents. So your base stays the same, and then I would just take 6 plus 3, so ultimately we'll get 8 to the ninth power. Again, got a second example here. I notice that the bases are the same, they're both x's, so I'm going to have x, and this time I have a 5 plus 2, so I'm just going to add those together, and 5 plus 2 is 7. Now, when I'm looking at the last one, I see an x here, and there's an x, but there's also a y. And so you need to make sure that you see that this y is different. So that means we can combine things that are like, so both the ones that have an x as a base, we have x to the fifth, and then remember, if it's not raised to any power, it's understood that it's a 1. And then we have a y left over because there's nothing for me to multiply it with. So I'm going to combine. So this would be x to the 5 plus 1 is 6. And then I have my y left over.